you mentioned, you know, a lot of the positives that have come from recognizing concussions and um, a lot of safeguards have been put into place and I think there's been a lot of new technology in terms of helmets, uh, at least that I've seen. And, can, and is that an area that as well can, can improve in terms of safety? Uh, there are, there's a tremendous amount of work by many manufacturers to improve the helmet, you know, how much can be improved. Mm -hmm. Right now, the helmet has been designed to prevent penetrating injuries. You never see a skull fracture from football. Mm -hmm. uh, it's the inner lining that dissipates energy. Uh, there's, a, there's a company recently that's developed a Kevlar technology. It's called Unequal. And Kevlar, as you know, is used in bulletproof sure. vests. And why does Kevlar work? How does it stop a speeding bullet? Well, it disperses the energy tangentially from the point of impact rather than going in. And may, you may have material that doesn't penetrate, but it doesn't dissipate the energy. And, and this has been used now in helmets with considerable success in a lot of, uh, a lot of players. Hmm. It's a liner that goes in to help uh, dissipate forces. Uh, there's all sorts of uh, companies now putting accelerometers into helmets, either on the helmet, on the head. Um, a group in Cleveland has made a mouthpiece with a triaxial accelerometer that measures forces in the X, Y, and Z axis so that you know not only how many hits you have, but also how many G forces Mm -hmm. So it's kind of, the, the goal is like the badges that the radiologists wear in the x-ray department mm -hmm. to tell you how much x-ray you've been exposed to. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the simplified goal here is to know how many hits you've had. And we know on an average season, a high school kid will have his helmet impacted five to seven hundred times. That's a lot of hits. Mm -hmm. We don't know what the cumulative effect of, in quotes, sub-concussive blows are. Hmm. So there's, there's a, a huge amount of research going, not just for football, but the sure. military. It's a huge problem in the military. Hmm. You know, 15 to 20 percent of the soldiers serving in Iraq and Afghanistan come back with post-concussion syndrome and or PTSD. Mm -hmm. And there, we believe there's a connection uh, to those in terms of a neuroinflammatory response that occurs in the brain when it's traumatized.